Long a source of safety concerns, the Suhua Highway has been the only way home for East Coast residents for many decades. This January, engineers completed improvement work on the highway that was made to eliminate lethal landslides after typhoons. It took nine years to finish the feat, which called for blasting out tunnels, climbing over cliffs and repeatedly putting their lives at risk. Today in our Sunday special report, these engineers share the experience of accomplishing Taiwan's biggest public works project in recent memory. Strings of firecrackers go off as the first bus departs. Inner city buses, one after another, carry northbound passengers departing from Hualien. I'm quite excited to be riding this bus. We're going to Luodong and then we'll head for Taipei. I'm a Hualien County local. I've always lived in my hometown. I've been looking forward to this for so long. I had hoped I could be on the first bus. Locals and tourists aren't the only ones happy about the opening of the improved Suhua Highway. Happiest of all are the engineers who worked behind the scenes to make it happen. On January 6th, the opening ceremony for the improved Suhua Highway was held at Gufeng Tunnel, right on the border between Yilan and Hualing counties. The engineers who worked here and poured their hearts into the project were also invited to attend the ceremony. On stage, a video plays, showing the step-by-step -step process that went into building the improved Suhua Highway. It may be that men do not easily shed tears, but as they watch, these engineers cannot help but be teary-eyed. Most unforgettable was when we were excavating. Part of it collapsed. <laughs> when the Suhua Highway Improvement Project was first conceived, it was because the original highway was very dangerous to drive on. The old Suhua Highway was full of curved sections, and heavy traffic was a daily occurrence. It was open to the public in 1932, but geological conditions made it hard to maintain. Every day, maintenance crew could be seen working on the road. These workers put themselves in danger, climbing slopes with ropes attached, dangling in the air. They placed metal netting over the faces of cliffs to keep rocks in place. In the past, engineering technology was more limited. Much of the old Suhua Highway was cut into the face of rock cliffs. Because it traced such arduous topography in frail rock structures, landslides were a common occurrence. Hanging netting on these cliffs was dangerous, but it was effective in slowing down erosion of the cliffs and reducing the occurrence of falling rocks. There's a feeling of success. That's why I like this job, because of that feeling. If it's not me going to do this work, it'll be my son. If not my son, it'll be my grandson. We will do our best to look after the safety of these engineering works. In eastern Taiwan, typhoons and earthquakes often cause problems. In 2010, Typhoon Megi caused death and injury along the Suhua Highway. As a result, the Taiwan Provincial Highway No. 9 Suhua Highway Mountain Area Road Section Improvement Project was born, or the Suhua Improvement Project for short. The improvement project primarily targeted the old Suhua Highway. A new road was built that coexisted with the old one, with the improved route extended to 38.8 kilometers. Along the way are 12 overpasses and 8 tunnels. The improved highway shortens the trip between Taipei and Hualien by one hour. The team working on the tunnels detonated over 10,000 explosives during construction. Before each explosion, meticulous calculations were performed. After we finished boring, the explosives team would go in and plant explosives. After they were finished, everyone would retreat behind the safety perimeter from where we would use a remote detonator to set off the explosives. Building a road through mountains is easier said than done. Aside from their personal protection, engineers must also look out for each other's safety. 
As a result, the team forms a close camaraderie based on a shared experience of having gone through trials and tribulations together. You have to put your heart into your work. If there's a person who doesn't put their heart into their work, they will be the one most easily hit by falling rocks, the one most easily hurt. We're just like brothers. We live together, eat together and work together. I really want to thank them because back then there was nothing I could do. After I had a stroke, I was basically not working. I handed the work over to them, and they took the job and finished it. But no matter how much attention is put into their work, one thing people cannot control is the rigorous trials of nature. That section from Gufang Tunnel to Guanyin Tunnel, when that typhoon came, nobody knew these rocks would come falling down. A typhoon struck suddenly, bringing torrential rain. The onslaught caused the nearly completed Gufeng Tunnel to suddenly collapse. Jiang Minglong, who was on duty at the time as supervisor, crawled out of the tunnel in a harrowing escape. We had just climbed to where there was a landslide. We climbed up single file, one after the other. Our path was blocked off, and there was a section going out where we had to crawl. If our work progresses toward the left, we may find ourselves under a water pocket and may burst it. If it bursts, it is like when you eat a steamed bun or steamed pastry, that water inside would just come rushing out. That water tends to come with other things, such as broken shards from the cliff or stones. If these shards are big, they could cause a collapse. Over the nine years of construction on the Suhua Improvement Project, there was a total of 98 serious collapses. The worst on record was at Gufeng Tunnel, where over 10,000 cubic meters of rock collapsed. Zhongren Tunnel had to be redirected and rebuilt again and again. Later on, Zhongren Tunnel became a potential area for landslides. Landslides would have ruined any safety claim of the improved highway, so the route we took with the highway was moved inland, moved northward. To ensure the safety of tunnels, engineers tested ground quality and resilience to earthquakes before excavating. No matter what method is used, construction is bound to damage the environment and local ecosystem. Engineers on the Suhua Improvement Project took pains to minimize their impact. Starting with the excavated soil, engineers used trains to carry the soil away, a rarely used approach. Excavating an entire tunnel leaves you with roughly 700 cubic meters of soil. You work that out in terms of 14 cubic meter dump trucks. Think about it, along Provincial Highway Number 9, how much did I excavate? Later on, the agreement was worded to say that the excavated soil had to be taken away by train. Using trains meant creating less traffic along Highway Number 9. Not only was the ecosystem affected, but the Atayao communities located near the highway also suffered the loss of their peace and quiet. Later on, after we communicated with them, they agreed to let us work, but they didn't allow us to use explosives. Therefore, near the Uta Atayao community, we used machinery instead. Explosives would disturb the spirits of Atayal ancestors near the southern opening of the tunnel. We tried to demonstrate our goodwill, which they accepted. During the construction period, we made every effort to limit our noise as well as work hours. Our trucks did not enter the Atayal community. The Suhua Improvement was the country's largest public works project in recent years. Industry professionals said the implementation of this project showed progress compared to the past. In the past, engineering projects tended to focus on work quality and schedule. However, with the Suhua Improvement Project, we saw a respect for the environment, as well efforts to rescue historic artifacts. There was also respect shown toward Aborigine communities along the highway. I think the whole Suhua Improvement Construction team gave it their all. In the past, Travel between Taipei and Hualien involved either fighting for the few available train tickets or braving the dangers of the old Suhua Highway. Today, with the completion of the much faster, improved Suhua Highway, many people have had their wishes fulfilled. I am definitely quite happy. Going back is much faster. 
I can tell my children this was our work. A lot of trades are like this one. You don't have a choice. If you want to eat, you work hard and get it done. I hope that for the next Suhua Improvement Project, I'm still around to help the country. The Suhua Highway system is maintained by more than 10,000 engineers and maintenance workers each year. They work tirelessly to ensure that drivers can make it home safe and sound.